And see, now the players run forward a little bit more. Odegaard's in loads of space. Gonna smack it, Odegaard! What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at the brand new classic number 10 playstyle. I call it brand new because it is effectively a brand new one. Plays so different than it did before. And we're gonna cover everything. We're gonna have gameplay. We're gonna have the definition of it going through it. We're also gonna be doing a quick review of the nominating contract packs such as Odegaard, Dybella, and Gundo. And of course, we're gonna have some Division 1 gameplay examples as well. Let's go. All right, boys, so I'm, again, not going to overcomplicate this. This is what Classic number 10 does. I'm going to show you against a Division 1 opponent what you can do with Classic number 10, such as Gundo. Takes the corner, gets an option to receive it, and then a little touch and go, get into a dangerous position, and then it's a case of just getting a penalty with the slick dribbling that Gundo is renowned for in this game since the patch. Again, we have another brilliant example here. Obviously, a bit of skill gap will come into here and a bit of your own personal skills of how you dribble, but you can just keep it very simple as well and just keep the ball moving. That's all all you really need to do with a classic number 10 keep the ball moving get into these positions now i'm going to highlight odegaard here look at the amount of space he has the game is really rewarding classic number 10s and they kind of have a little force field around them that the players don't really close down until you get on the ball so if you're able to shoot as an attacking midfielder as you saw there you can just absolutely dominate again we're going to highlight another run here by yet another classic number 10 from the pack dibella we've tried and tested them all we're going to rewind this back in a second as we slot at home with dibella right here but look at the breakdown of this right as we rewind it back right instant replay watch dibella's movement here boys this is exactly what a classic number 10 is now doing you've got two options you can either run right shoulder or left shoulder this is all ai runs so depending on what run that the ai will make that is at the mercy of what the AI is going to do. You just have to be able to let the player get into a position and then be able to pick the point, pick where you want to give the point of uh, pass, right? And again, it's a lovely little treaded ball through and a simple little finish. So a lot of this is down to the fact that they have now redefined what a classic number 10 player will do. So if you go into the general information here and you go all the way down to player styles and then scroll down to a classic number 10, they have revamped the definition of this and it's now a playmaker who initiates attack near the penalty area and will present himself to score when opportunities arise you saw that there with Dybella getting into a position there was nothing else on so he continues his run into the penalty area when defending he refrains from dashing to minimize stamina loss ignore that last bit lads right I think the stamina is busted at the moment I do feel that the stamina it doesn't matter it's a visual thing in my personal opinion I don't really see a massive difference between a player that's been playing 85 minutes to a player that you bring off fresh on from the bench. So that again, that's just me. But it also comes down to as well with a classic number 10. Now I've played about 25 to 30 matches where I've literally just been testing Gundo. And a lot of it comes down to playing against high ranked Division 1 games to see how the AI handle runs when runs are actually tracked. You know, when you're not playing Division 5, Division 6... Division 1, Division 2 players will track your run. So that attack and awareness is a huge key stat for Gundo, which is why I think he is the pick of the pack here. This is the positions that you want to be getting into with Gundo. A lot of the time when you're playing against high rank players, or even players if you're pushing Division 3, 2, or 1, a lot of the time people kind of ignore that middle part of the pitch until it goes into the box. Here's another case in point. Gundo makes a fantastic run forward. It goes unchecked, but there's into an offside position. So again, he recycles his animation. He gets into a better position and then it's a cheeky little header in exactly again as we said the six yard box into the penalty box that is exactly what the definition said this is probably the best example of a classic number 10 and don't worry we'll rewind it back again and show you in real time and now in slow-mo as well watch this as we rewind it back watch gundo's movement here there's no sign of gundo here until i re recycle the ball right there's no sign of him as you can see here with the p with the picture once we recycle this here with a little dummy, now look at Gundo bust into that position and he'll largely go unchecked. The defensive AI doesn't, doesn't match Gundo's run, switches off completely, the opponent doesn't manually switch and obviously this guy is not manually defending too much. He's, he's isolating outside with Puyol and I slip into a position with the AI and then it's just a case of getting the ball in and then Kubo gets the scraps. Now again, this has all got to do with the classic number 10s here that they've added. These are free players. We're going to do a quick build and review of these players. Odegaard, as you saw with the beautiful banger of a shot to open the video, 
This is a shoot and attack a midfielder. You've got two options. You've either got a shoot and attack a midfielder, such as Odegaard. You've got a box to box, do it all, such as Gundo, which we'll see at the, at the end, or else you've got a passing one. So Odegaard and Dybella are definitely the passing ones. There's the bills that we have here. As I've said, lads, I'm working on a video, so ignore manager and uh, their own boosters if they have them, but ignore manager boost in this case here because it's still up in the air. Dybella, again, another classic number 10. High offensive awareness, and of course, you're going to ha have that high shooting status as well. Now, he still has some really good player skills, but Odegaard and Dybella are shooting attacking midfielders. I don't recommend to you for you to use these if you're not prepared to pull the trigger, man. If you're not prepared to shoot and you don't like shooting long range, even just sometimes to just keep your opponent guessing and for him to press up on you aggressively, that is a weapon in your arsenal that you should have. For the likes of Ganzo, who's down as a four-star, and Joe Mario, these guys don't have any shooting skills. It's all about passing. It's all about slow possession-based football, which does have a home now in V3.4, but it's not going to get you as many wins if you are more aggressive when you have the ball with your attacking midfielders. So there is the bill for Ganzo and there is Joe Mario. I do think that these are okay players for this stage in the game. They're very newcomer friendly players. You know, they'll teach you how to position your players. They'll show you what the AI does. And also there is the bill for Joe Mario. But for me, boys, as you probably guessed, there is only one player that I really recommend out of this and it is Gundo. Gundo is near enough mid to end game depending on how you play him and depending on what other squad you have. He's an absolute beast, man. He gets into ridiculously good positions. I love playing with him. We played about 25 matches in Division 1 with him and uh, Division 2 across both profiles. And he's just an absolute beast, man. He's a really, really, really solid player. He can shoot. He can take freeze. He's got exceptional ability on the ball. He runs and reminds me of kind of a bit like Barella. But he's also able to shoot if you train him right. Now, we're going to show you the ultimate build here of him. But let me know what you guys think. Now, obviously, on all these players, uh, Odegaard, Gundo is the only one that has one-touch pass that also has shooting skills. So that's why I think he's the best. Odegaard and Labella need one-touch pass. But let me know what you guys think. I will be back very, very soon. That hopefully answers all your questions about classic number 10, the movement, showcasing exactly how it works with three different players and kind of different enough players Think of it as like a box-to-box -box player, okay? The box-to-box -box play style. But instead of going from box-to-box -box and not going in the box, now they go into the box when they're attacking. So they go into the penalty area, as you saw with getting that penalty with Gundo at the start of the clip. So yeah, that is it for me, lads. Don't forget to subscribe if you want more videos like this. We will be back later on with another video. Until then, peace.